Hello everyone, I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt of the Wargaming Recon Podcast. So today I'm with you because I have a cool unboxing to do. You may remember seeing the Cigar Box Battle Mat unboxing that I did in the trailer for it. And hopefully you will enjoy this as much as you hopefully enjoyed that. So today I have a cool thing to unbox. It's right here. You can see the nice box for already mail. The packaging is good. You can see that. And it's all nice. Where we have this, and it's from the Wargamers Terrain, which is a train company for Wargamers, as the name would suggest. We will be reviewing some products for them in the 2017 podcast season. And the products are in here. Yes, they're in this box. So you can see that they are here well you will once we open but i thought i would do this unboxing so that you can experience what it's like to get something from them so i got a variety of things and i have to say i was given a review discount for this as part of me reviewing them i did approach wargamers terrain and i asked if they offered review copies or review discounts so something that i did because i was interested in reviewing them and as listeners of the show know it's impossible to be able to afford all the things that I'd love to afford to review for you. And it's because there's only so much money and the money that comes in has to go to a variety of things and I can't always pay for everything. So it'd be nice to be able to get review copies and as a smaller independent operation, it's just me, it's the co-host who of course I'm here by myself in Wargaming Recon Central, like the new sign, right? That means these kind of things work out. So I want to get that out front, just let you know, it's not a paid advertisement, it's not a paid commercial, it's none of that kind of stuff. It's not a sponsorship, it's completely independent, there's no bias, in both in this unboxing video or in the eventual review. So I want to get that out of the way. So let's look at the box, okay? So it came Priority Mail, US Postal Service. There's some dings on it, as you can see here, but that happens with any of these kind of stuff. It is heavy. So I did get a variety of things, weighs almost four pounds. It was two day priority mail. I was expecting according to the tracking that I wouldn't get these until two days from now. So I'm recording this on a Saturday. I got the update on Thursday or Friday and it had an estimated delivery date over Monday because Sundays they don't deliver the mail. And I was like, okay, I'll get it on Monday, but that's okay. It's coming soon, it's coming soon. I'm so excited because I want to see what it's, it's like. So it came here early. So great for that the postage price is great that's included in what you pay so they uh, they add on that price when you order from them and you know let's just open this up so we take a peek and it's since it's one of those prepaid priority mail boxes they're the ones where they press firmly on it and so there's no great easy way to open them some of them they have a strip you can pull if they're small enough I brought down box cutters and scissors because I wasn't sure. Actually, these are kitchen shears, but I wasn't sure what I would need. So let's just dive in and see. And let's try not to drop it as I kind of almost did. So here we go. It adhered really well. And you can probably hear it going stick, stick. As I'm trying to get it loose. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. Okay. So, first up, empty. You'll see that I can get rid of that. And it comes in this gorgeous box with their logo. This is beautiful. And this box perfectly fit inside of the mailing box, the shipping container. So we get this, and it is a gorgeous box. I've seen their boxes before because I've, I've seen their vendor booth at Huzzah. And I think they've been at Havoc as well in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, I think. So I've seen them there. And a buddy of mine, Adrian, who's a co-host on the show, will come on from time to time. Usually when we do live shows from conventions, we do a total con and Huzzah. And I don't think we do a live show from Havoc but we'll be there. Uh, but he won a box of one road segment of their Flex Roads. So won one segment of it, it was about yeah, big, I, I don't know how big, I don't, measure tape here. Uh, I don't know how big that is. So let's say six or 12 inches, 12 inches maybe. 
foot as long as your foot of the average male foot and it came in a box and i was like oh the box is nice and i, I was really i love containers i was really grooving in the box so this box is nice and it contains everything i wasn't quite sure how they were going to do it to be honest because there's a variety of things so i don't know if it'd be one box war gamer screen box and would have everything in it or if they would have individual war gamer screen boxes or if i would even get a box because it's a review copy so let's take another look at the box this is so nice i can keep this stuff in for storage just put it on my uh open shelves that i have in the other side and I can use it to travel and everything. Oh, it's gorgeous. I, I, I love this box. Okay, so let's open it up. In the inside, it's just your average box. And then we have this. So you see it has some nice tissue paper, green tissue paper, and instructions here. So we can take a quick peek. Flex Rivers Deluxe is one of the things I have. It has care and storage instructions on how to do and what they've done. And I will look at those after because you don't need, but you get something like this. And it, it's a beautiful thing to do. I have to say the pricing of these, it's not cheap. It was over a hundred and something. And I, I did get a review discount, as I said, but still it was not cheap. But the quality just on the shipping stuff so far in the box and the instructions, it's nice. Full color. Some companies would just do black and white. It'd be, oh, they wouldn't even give you this. But it's really nice. It has this. See, and store them at room temperature, lay them flat in this terrain box. If you got one with your purchase, if you stack them on top of each other, separate them using tissue paper like the, what's in here. Don't roll them up or store them sideways. Don't put them on their edge when you store them. It says, during shipment and handling, some shifting may occur and some sections may acquire a new shape. So, in quotations, <laughs> such as a minor twist or a bend. It says, after all, they are quite flexible. To make them flat again, place them on a flat surface at room temperature or in direct sunlight. I presume because the heat's going to make them a little more malleable. Radiant heat works well to smooth out instead of cooking the product. Do that for a few hours and it should flatten quite well. If they don't flatten within two to three days, contact or game is terrain. Mr. Joe Linares, he says he will do his very best to help you. He says sometimes the tissue paper that they use to wrap the stuff in may stick to the surface a little bit here and there. If you wet your index finger and rub it, it will unstick. The rubbers will not be damaged. The surface of each section has been finished with mineral oil to give it a clean sheen and to seal it. From time to time, you may use a small rag with a very small amount of mineral oil and rub the clear surface. It will clean and restore them. After each use, please store them properly as described further up in the letter. And again, any questions at all, he says, please email him and he'll respond as quickly as possible. I gotta say, he has been a joy to communicate with. I had questions about things. I emailed him, of course, to see how it would work out and everything. And asked, I was like, what do I do? How do I do this? What do we? And you can customize things. And so even if you order stuff on the store, you, you can still customize some. And so we've had a lot of communication such a joy to work with. He lives in West Massachusetts. I live in Eastern Mass near Boston. And they came fast. And then there are also instructions for, and I'm not going to read these, despite saying I wasn't going to read the ones for the rivers, and then I did. But I'm, I'm really not going to read these. Um, for the flex stone fences, um, it's similar kind of things for the fences. And just some instructions for both 15 millimeter and 25 millimeter fences. 25 mil, of course, would be good for 28 mil uh, models, 28 or heroic 28 slash 35. So let's dig in. We got this whole big box and let's look. We'll start on the left and I'll just pick up the first thing and it's wrapped in beautiful tissue paper. We'll just unroll. Oh, and so we get two sets of fences, the walls. He calls them fences, but walls. And you can see it's like some sort of putty. And they got like stonework on them and stuff. And here's a gray one. And it says you can bend them. Well, there's instructions. They bend. Oh, well, that's for another time. And actually, some of them it falls off, which is unfortunate. Um, but that's review stuff. That's not unboxing things. So put these together. So they are nicely packaged. They are not damaged other than me trying to bend them without reading the instructions. Uh, I'm told by Mr. Linares 
that you can bend these easily and that uh, you can get any sort of shape, best shapes or whatever, it doesn't destroy them, doesn't damage them. So is that. We'll get another thing, so let's unroll. Oh, very cool. So I'm gonna hold it up so you, you can kind of see. So it's in here in a heat. One of the things I got was you can get pastures, crop fields, so to speak. And you can get them either with the crops actually in the flex field, or you can get them separate. So I got them separate so it could be modular. And so this is like wild um, grass. So you could use it as long grass, or hay, or any of that kind of stuff. And little shrubs and things, so it would be other shrubs, uh, sh other crops, not shrubs. That doesn't make sense. Other crops uh, growing in. Uh, so these are kind of cool. So I got a bunch of these, and they're they're all kind of together in a heap, but they look safe. And some of the basing stuff came off, but again, these are flexible. This is wow. I I'd love to know how he does it. So let's see. I got three, four, five, six. I got seven of these. As you can see, they're yay long. And one, two, three, four, five, and six of these. I actually think I was only supposed to get six of each, so we threw in an extra one of these. It's supposed to be the, the crops. And he threw in an extra, he calls them fence, but I'll refer to them as walls. Uh, I think it was only supposed to gr get the gray one, and he threw in the brown one as well. Uh, so that was really sweet of him. I, I'm told... That is not uncommon. Again, that's more appropriate for review. So when I review them, I will. But I'm told that's not uncommon for him to do. So that's something to consider. Now we get a nice big flat one. We'll just flip it over. This tissue paper is really nice. Oh, this is this is really this is huge, bigger than I thought it was going to be. So either I ordered something that was different than I thought, or he's spoiling me. So this is the feel. And it looked gorgeous on a table. And I'll put it on a table and you guys can take a peek. But, and it's huge. And it's made out of the same flexible stuff. It, wow, it's neat. And then underneath it, to kind of give it a little rigidity when he shifted it, he put this nice piece of um, thin cardboard. So it actually helped it to keep its shape. Uh, there's a lot of the material on it. The, I'm going to call it flock. It's not really flock. Flock, sand, you know, basin kind of stuff that has come off. But it's kept nicely in the tissue paper which is very nice so we'll fold it up and i will do a separate video sometime to show you how it looks on a table so i'll actually i'm going to do a video combining a bunch of terrain because i have this war games terrain i have the cigar box battle mat mike payne who's co-host and a friend of the show and been a guest and all that kind of stuff He's sending me some hills that he's made. And they're not going to be for the, on top of the table. They're going to be for underneath to kind of give some elevation. That's one of the cool things you can do with cigar box battle mats. You put stuff underneath so that it's going to have gentle slopes and on that way. So I'm I'm very excited about that. So, But after these things come and they'll have their own episodes and reviews, I'll do a video and some pictures and be able to see the table and what it looks like. So now here's another one. And you see there's some stuff on it that comes off. But, it's okay. It's bound to happen. Shipment, things get moved around. This is very flexible. So I presume this is one of my, oh, and it is. This is one of my river pieces. Oh my God. It is gorgeous. Wow. This is, <laughs> this is so beautiful. So you can see this is a second amount of shape. It's um a Y curve kind of thing. And he's done a lot of we get nice and close so you can see a lot of extra detail on it. So you can see there was uh, a log and there's a big rock. Depending on scale, you can do whatever. I got the one that's only so wide, honestly, because it was cheaper. <laughs> it's the cheapest version of this that you can get. But these are modular, so you can put them together in whatever configuration you want. And then on the back, he has stamped it with his logo and stuff. So that's really cool. So if you had these for a while and you forgot where you got them, and you didn't have the box, you didn't have any of that other stuff, you'd be like, where do I get them? You look and you get their website, and everything, so you could contact them and get them. So that's gorgeous. Again, nicely packaged in this tissue paper. So, and it's kind of one of the things, right, when you unbox something, you never get it back the way 
that you would like or you would hope. But I'll just fold it up as best as I can and put it on the side. And then it'll go back in here. So I'm supposed to have a bunch of sections of this. So here's another one. And at this point, let's just move the box to the side because it's hindering me. Okay. Oh, goodness. It's gorgeous. So he actually asked me what kind of color I wanted. You can get blue, you can get green, you can get brown. And I said kind of like a blue green because I thought that would be most useful. So you can see there's some shine from the lights, but you can see there's some large logs, there's side stuff. So you put that on your table and you can match it. So here's another one, nicely done. And it just, it lines up for whatever shape you need, however much of a river you need. And the difference between the deluxe, which is what we have here, and the standard is, you see this kind of has a nice transparency look to it. It adds a little bit of depth and everything and there's stuff actually in it. With the, the standard one, it just painted blue or whatever color you picked, your green, your blue, green, your brown. So it's painted that color, which is nice. And it's a good way to get a lot of stuff more affordably because it's much cheaper. Uh, whereas all of these, it's like 120, 130, I think, don't quote me on the price because well, heck, I'm in front of a computer recording, so I might as well just try to look it up and give you an actual price because heaven knows if I give the wrong price, it's going to bother me. And I don't want to tell people, oh, it costs X amount of dollars when it really doesn't. And so I'm trying to get into his website to see if it can pull up on me and how much the pieces cost. So that's the difference between the two. I'm just waiting for it to load so I can give you the information. And, and you can see this is, these pieces are just, they're nice. I mean, again, I already showed this to you, but look at this. It's nice and it's flexible. So you can put it on a hill and it'll adhere to it. And the, I don't know, that's just something I, I, I love how he was able to, I don't even know how he was able to, I love that he was able to do it. So that is really cool. That he was able to do such a thing and I'm just pulling out the info that I have for this so I okay here we go the flex rivers is a, a deluxe is a set of 12 piece sections it's $118 and I got a discount again but you get 12 sections of this and these are I mean look at it it's long and, and again this for a little extra support he put the thin cardboard in it so you had this and then on the other side of it on the back side is this is another one so you get a nice straightaway and same thing the stuff submerged in it and just it's gorgeous it has a lot of depth there's a lot going on here it's beautiful and it's nice to know how to maintain it and Everything just, it's really good. I don't think you need to do a darn thing to this to add, it, it's table ready. The standard ones, they look nice from what I saw on the pictures and I recall seeing them in person, but I don't have a clear vision of them. But I know they, they did look nice and everything, but I tell you, they honestly don't compare to this. So yes, this here, the deluxe ones, 118 for the cheapest one and then you get a case shipping and unless you see them at a convention and then you pick them up there uh, whatever he has on hand uh, he does make these two orders so if you wanted different colors and things he'll do custom orders but it's just worth it absolutely worth it so we get some more sections so we've seen three well we've seen five out of the sections so i know it's unboxing but we're going to keep on opening because we got more packages and these are all nicely packaged he can do my christmas wrapping <laughs> you know your hanukkah wrapping your christmas wrapping your um star wars birthday wrapping name day any of that and it's nice so he has this whole paper here right so he has one here and it's nicely done again i'm not gonna bore you we'll keep showing you them all but it looks nice and then you flip the tissue paper over and oh look, there's another one. So that way it doesn't get messed up. And then you open it and there's thin card. 
back of them on it. Everything looks nice. There's no cracks or anything. He gave me updates as well along the way, saying it takes X amount of time to cure. And he gives some of that information on his website, but he's like, your stuff is here. And I have to be honest, I don't know because I've, I've never dealt with him before and I haven't talked to other customers. So I don't know if he gives updates to everyone or if we just kind of hit it off. Because we get a lot of very friendly emails. And if it's because of that or if it's because of reviewing, I can't say. And I don't want to imply that I'm getting preferential treatment because I don't. I get the feeling he's like this with everyone. I honestly just don't know. So that's why I'm saying that caveat. But just the feeling I'm getting. But the packaging is the important bit for what we're talking about in this video. And it's gorgeous. Nice green um, paper. The tissue paper is really nice. And some of the flocking and that kind of stuff and the shrubbery and stuff's come off. But that's bound to happen. It's going to happen anyway. But it's it held up. And I mean, a little bit of rip. But again, stuff, good condition. Very good condition. Everything's safe and secure. And the cool thing with the tissue paper, you can obviously obviously just keeping your stuff wrapped in it as he does in his instructions. But should you choose to not, for whatever reason, and again, I'm not saying you should, but should you not, you can take it. If you have a cigar box mat, Put it underneath as a hill if you didn't buy hills from Joe from Woogie Mr. Ann. Or you can use it to package other stuff or whatever. So, and here's the last package. There was what four in there, so there should be a bunch in here. And I've honestly lost track of how many. But again, this is another one just seeming nicely packaged. We do have a bit of damage to. And it's minor to the tissue paper, which is nothing actually. But that's because it's a cool piece coming out, and I can sense it. Again, another piece here. But it's because, and let's look at this. Oh, this is super cool. There's a tree trunk there. Look at that. Can you see? Let me look at that. How awesome is that? So it poked through. Big deal. Um, I guess if I had to be critical of it, and I'm not, but if I had to be the one with the tree trunk piece, and, and I, I'm going to presume I, I, why he did it this way, but it, it was facing down into the box, like so. So with that, with the weight of everything else, and it was the bottommost thing, of course it's going to poke through. It didn't get damaged. It, it looks good to me. But if I had to be critical, I'm, I'm not really being critical at all. It's just in case anyone accuses me of being too happy about how this was packaged, uh, I would, I guess, have to say, well, maybe that piece shouldn't be, have been on the bottom. It should be on the top or something. But again, I don't have any complaints. This is gorgeously packaged. It 100% is. And I am so pleased with how he packaged it. I say he because Joe is, or Mr. Linares, I should maybe say. Uh, but Joe Linares is... Working his terrain, and he makes everything himself except for, I think the the vines that you can get. It's like grapevines in the trees. I think is what he told me. But otherwise, everything else he makes himself. And that's the unboxing. And here's the bottom of the box. You can see. And so there we go. And let's see if I can get the things back in. Oh goodness me! Of course I can't. Oh wait, here we go. They do. Well, yeah. Okay, there we go. Tight fit. But when done properly, they they all fit in because I took them out and they were in here to begin with. So here we go. That one was just a little tricky. But, okay. So it's a very snug fit, which is a good thing. And you see, I didn't do it fantastic, but I got everything back in. What his instructions, which I will read. And then we seal up the box. And here we go. And I know I'm going into a bit of review territory here, as I did throughout, but whatever. Real Full review is going to come in the podcast, the audio podcast. But I got to say... I would love to have a ton of these boxes in my collection filled with this stuff just because it looks so good. So anyway, thank you for watching this unboxing video of 
Wargamers Terrain from the Wargaming Recon Podcast or that fancy logo there. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And we'll have the full review coming out on the podcast in an episode on sometime during the year 2017. I haven't planned that yet, but we'll be reviewing it then um, for one of those and see which of my co-hosts would like to come on and talk about it and, and everything. Uh, maybe I can get Adrian because he has roads. So we'll see if I can get him. He's very, very busy. So we'll see if I can get him, though. And I can tell you that when I review Cigar Box, and I know they're not connected, but when I review Cigar Box, I'm, I'm trying to get Alex to come on. Alex is also very busy. We record the show on Saturdays, but he's very, he has a kid too. So Saturdays are prime time for him and his family. So it's time for him to do Saturdays. But I'm trying to get him for Cigar Box as he turned me on to them. And Adrian would be gay for Wargamer's Terrain. So we'll see if we can make that happen. So thank you for watching. Thank you to Joe Linares and Wargamer's Terrain for sending us this review. So I can do the cool unboxing that came in this. Very nice. And until next time, thank you. And you know the deal. Keep on gaming. <laughs>